It's a damn shame that I'm having to use my notepad in order to call this apartment complex. But I'm going to use this notepad because apparently they know my number from my main phone that I call from. Um, and they're avoiding my calls. They haven't answered the call at all this week about them putting this notice on my door about how I owe them $85 for this month and must pay it by seven ten in order to not be uh, evicted out of my apartment. Now, they've been known that I haven't had any income. They've been knowing this, but I'm getting ready to call them from this notepad here. Let me find their number. Give me a second. Because I don't, I don't use my notepad to make calls. But I am right now because they are avoiding my calls from my main number. Alright, I'm getting ready to call them right now. Watch him answer the phone. Wow, they still didn't answer. Oh my gosh, bro. This is absolutely insane. How are they not answering the freaking phone all week long? And that doesn't make any damn sense whatsoever. It's total bullshit what they're doing. Anyway, I wrote them a letter, and I'm getting ready to email it to them. It says, around the end of March and before April, I spoke with Sweet and informed her that my business was struggling with no income. I informed her. I informed her of my final pay for April 1st as $140. Out of that $140, I paid my full rent of $76. You asked for me to send in documentation of the last eight weeks. I emailed the screenshot of this on the 5th of April. Then you requested for me to send in documentation of no shifts being available. I sent the screenshots of this on the 28th of April. Everything you have requested, I have followed through to provide. I kept trying to be in communication with you about adjusting my rent for May 1st. This was during the time you were doing inspections, so I kept being told. Come May 1st, no adjustment was made to my rent, and you charged me the same rent of $76 as if I still had income. Only because of my creator, my maker was looking out for me and placed it upon the heart of someone to help me in my time of need, was I able to pay you this unjust amount of $76. I was given lip service stating, yes, you should have a credit on your account. When trying to follow up with you, it seemed a bit impossible seeing as how your office has chosen to be closed during normal business hours with no notice to your residents prior to seeing a note on your front door. You have inconvenienced your residents with no regard to our time and effort. You have not treated me the way you would want to be treated. June 2nd. I called your office and spoke with the management, and I was told that I do have a credit on my account. You also requested that I send in proof of the email I received from my client stating that my business had been removed. I emailed this to you that very same day. 
I have attempted to call numerous times and have left several messages pertaining to the notice left on my door on 6-10-22, quote unquote, demanding pay in the amount of $85 before 7-10-22 or vacate, unquote. This is extremely unjust when I clearly have been in communication with you since I lost my stream of income. Your office have avoided my calls and have not returned a call as of 6 16 22. I will be attempting to call you again when your office is due to be open in one hour from now. It is now 7 59 a.m. my time at the typing of this letter. Also, I have informed you about my AC being out. It has been near a hundred degrees outside and no one has came to fix my air. What you are doing is completely unethical, unjust, and uncalled for. I have lived in this apartment complex through many different management and owners and it seems most are the same. No care for the residents is all about the mighty dollar at the end of the day. And you can care less who you put on the street. You can care less how hot it is in our apartment. So, you know, these people seriously think that they can continue to oppress the people of the Most High. They are sadly mistaken.